the subtleties of consciousness are so subtle and difficult to tie down. But my dream pattern changed after trepanation, became much more relaxed. And what I find very compelling is I've had three partners, actually, who've been trepanned, and two of them I've known before they were trepanned and after. And both of those I've noticed after their trepanation a very subtle shift, a kind of relaxation, an internal relaxation, the kind of, we all have our bag of neurotic symptoms, and I noticed this kind of little bit of a sinking of the neurotic symptoms and um, a little bit more energy. And what I think it is is just there's a little bit more um, energy, more, a little bit more blood. On every heartbeat, one gets a little bit more blood in. We have 60 heartbeats a minute, so, you know, that's freshening up the blood. And also, one has a little bit more energy, which is washing out those toxins and sending the cerebral spinal fluid, instead of going from where it's created in the um, lakes in the middle, it can go down the um, dural spine, but this pushes it up and around and then out through the arachdonic um, villi. And it's just a healthier mechanism, is my opinion. But funny enough, the research we've done in Russia we haven't been able to trepan people because you can't get permission to trepan people, although it's, it's done. Dangerous. It's not dangerous. It's done by, um, you know, every brain operation has to be trepan, trepan first. So it's done by the nurse, actually. But because it's, it's a, it's a catch-22, because it hasn't been proved to be beneficial, you can't get um, approval to do it, even to people who want it done. Now we are hoping that with the group of people who've got a very low cranial compliance in the age of 40-ish, which comes up to this critical area of 50, um, which is when the cranial compliance is at its lowest ebb, other than people who get um, Alzheimer's, um, if we can, we're putting in to try to have a project of researching people who elect to be trepanned at that. But the research so far has used people who are being trepanned for other means, for head trauma or um, tumour, or and we use as little problem as possible. So, And what that has shown is that before the trepanation, their cranial compliance is one measure. After the trepanation, it goes up. And when they have the hole filled in, which is their usual practice, it goes down again. So that has shown that the and it makes sense that the expansion hole created by the trepanation um, rejuvenates the cerebral circulation to what it was before the skull became a solid case, when it had more fluidity and could expand on the heartbeat.